Hi everyone, Tyler here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about Demi Lovato, one of my favorite singers and favorite actresses. Uh, apparently she had a couple of heart attacks, a heart attack and a couple of strokes during her near fatal overdose. So she is far luckier to be alive than, uh, and I'm thankful that she is and I'm thankful she got the help that she needed. This is some powerful stuff, so let's get into it. In a docu-series coming out on YouTube, hey, my website, uh, Demi Lovato reveals that she had three strokes and a heart attack, and she had perhaps five to ten minutes left. Just saying that, for me as a, as a fan of hers, shocks me. The trailer is in the pinned comment below. You can watch the trailer there. And when the docuseries comes out, I will be watching it. And it, I, I'm so glad that she's okay. Well, according to BuzzFeed, <clears throat> she does have some brain damage because of it, obviously. But I'm glad she's alive. I, I really am. I really am glad. <clears throat> no, I'm not crying. Uh, I'm really glad she's alive. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm just, that's pretty much it. Holy crap. Let's see if there's any more. Really have to commend Demi for the trailer alone for this thing. Again, linked in the pinned comment. The trailer alone for this docu series. I don't know of very many people that would be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna come out and just speak the truth, regardless of what ha of um, not just my. I'm gonna speak my truth. I'm gonna speak my truth. I I am of the belief that speaking your truth is so freeing and powerful because your truth is is yours and it's no one else's. So if you can speak to your own problems, your own issues, your own, uh, lack of a better term, dance, uh, tangos with the devil, um, then that that is beyond powerful. So fact that she's willing to come out and talk and literally say in another part of the video, hey, I don't know why I'm sober. I don't know the full context of that quote, but it's part of the quote. Or, hey, I could have been dead within 20 minutes. That, that shows a level of just, how do I phrase this? Maturity doesn't even strike me. Confidence. Oh my god, perfect. Um, confidence in her, where she looks at it and goes, you know what? I gotta, I gotta just say it. I gotta say it. I gotta speak my truth. And I don't, none of us really knew what she went through in 2018. After all that, like we knew we knew what 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 we were what we were told, but her struggles, the fact that she's willing to come out with this now, is so powerful. Good job, Demi. Still a loyal fan, will be for life. You keep doing. You keep you keep speaking that truth. You you keep speaking your truth. You keep yourself safe and you and you surround yourself with people and it seems like from the from the trailer you're doing that surround yourself with people that are not yes yes ma'am yes men yes women surround yourself with people that get that that will be like nope and it looks like you're doing that and I and I as long as you're happy uh me as an idiot youtuber I can't judge but I'm so, but I can, I can say I'm so proud of you as a fan, as uh, 
pretty much just a fan. I'm so proud of you for making it through all of this. And I can't wait to watch the docuseries. Because I would I hope it's eh, I hope it's on the free part of YouTube. I doubt it. Um but I will be watching the docuseries somehow, some way. Thanks, Demi.